Chapter 7 has fought his way to the front. Commander Crow at the inside gives way. Mr. Herbie off a ground saving trip finds late room. But Chapter 7, the cream rises to the top. One of the best efforts he had when he was win the Breeders' Crown, parked every step of the mile. And, um, you know, he's just a great horse. I, I miss him. I wish I could find another one. Hello everyone, Wendy Ross for U.S. Trotting. We make a stop at Blue Chip Farms in Walk Hill, New York as we get to catch up with the great trotting sire, Chapter 7. Let's go back about 11 or 12 years when Chapter 7 was just four years old, getting ready to retire and end his career. You and Tom Gross, what made you say that's going to be our guy? And it seems like the rest has just been history. Yeah, I mean, mostly it's it's Tom's idea and he, you know, he researches deep, deep into pedigrees and he typically likes likes crosses and he likes his favorites just like everyone else. You know, he likes his, his own cooking and things that he thinks is the best. And plus, you know, his accolades on the racetrack are, you know, we can't, we can't pass them up. And when the two match, then that Tom goes for it. Linda, looking back at the career you had with Chapter 7, if you had to describe him in one word, what would it be? I don't think I can describe him in one word because he was honestly the little engine that could. He was so determined. He, he was so talented. Um, he, everything about him, he was just heart, pure heart. And I think maybe that would be the word that I would use, is he figured out a way to win, and as long as he was within striking distance, he got the job done. Oh, the same want to go get him attitude. Um, you know, there are a lot bigger horses than him, but uh, you know, it's, it's been a lot of fun. You know, um, luckily I've got to drive some great horses, and he was top, one of the top ones. Now, when it comes to picking the mares that you think match best with Chapter, kind of give us what, what the thoughts that go into that. Chapter has been doing well with a lot of Broodmare sires. Uh, I think he has this game-changing front-end gate. Uh, he's, he's just an amazing sire because he can go in, in the half, in big tracks, small tracks. Uh, not only he, he conquers first New York, now the can, then the country, and now he's conquering Europe too. Uh, the few horses have been there doing great, and we have a lot of mares coming from 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 Europe for him, um, and I, I I think it's it's a great cross for Muscle Hill mares and uh, the sons of Muscle Hill. Uh, he, he having a little bit of ballet victory in his bloodline, but not as much. Makes him like Herb said, uh, uh, very easy to to breed to so, to so many mares. You know, great winner mares, great uh, Muscle Hill, Canter Hall, like I said before. The good thing about him, he didn't feel little in the bike. You know, he filled the bike up really good. He had a big long gait. You know, it, it, his size never bothered me one time. And you see now in the Grand Circuit, I think you guys are just, hey, it's just fun to see what, what produces at this point. Oh, no, absolutely. I mean, from here on out, I think it's pretty much gravy. He's, he's proven himself in any aspect you want to want to show. Um, and, and it is. We're just looking forward to the future just for more opportunities and more excitement. When you're just around a horse like him, I think one phrase comes to mind, and that's once in a lifetime. Oh, for sure. For sure. I mean, we, we've been graced with some pretty good stands, but he's he's certainly one of the top ones, for sure. He, he walked like a, like a king. Uh -huh. He's very, very... And he is a king, right? Oh, of course. <laughs> yeah. Horse like that, it is no see every day. Yeah. When he didn't have a target, you had to kind of keep him at task a little bit. But if he heard the horses coming behind him again, there, there he'd go again. He was just a great horse. Then we fast forward just a couple years down the road. Of course, you had Walner. Cut short, but he was amazing as well. Walner is literally the best horse probably I've ever trained as far as pure talent, speed, everything about him. Um, I never, I always kind of guffaw when trainers say that they knew from the first day that he was special. And the truth is, I knew from the first day he was special and he never let me down. Noelle, I think when a, when a sire starts out, you want to get the best mares you possibly can. That wasn't the case for Chapter. He's kind of written his own success and, and, and has made, now gotten the opportunity to have those better mares. Yes, I think, uh, I think it's, he, that's why he proved himself to be such a great stallion because now it's so exciting we have all these champion mares coming to the farm being bred to him and we're looking forward to see what he can produce from those champion mares um, but you know the, the key as always Tom says is to support the horse and make the, the stallion and give him the, the, the chance give him the opportunity to himself. I think that Walner was a bigger, stronger version of Chapter 7, which made him a much faster version. I believe in my heart of hearts that we might have seen a 48 record at uh, the Red Mile that year with him. I mean, the way he did it, the ease in which he did everything was what is what was somewhat remarkable. 
when you go back and you think about after chapter got done racing, of course, Mr. Gutnick gave you guys the opportunity, he came to you, and it was so nice that you guys have had the success you've had. Yeah, and certainly I, I hope we feel the same for each other and mutual respect, but uh, we were very fortunate that Mr. Gutnick gave us the opportunity to, to manage him and, and kind of cultivate him to this point. So I, we do appreciate that.